Hi, thank you both for being here today. Uh, my name is Shannon Stocking. I'm a junior at LSA studying English and Communications, and I'm one of the co-editor-in-chiefs at the Michigan Daily. My question is for you, Chris Wallace, and of course, Big Gretch, if you have anything else to add, <laughs> please feel free to. Um, in recent years, we have seen a growing trend of attacks on the press, as has come to the forefront with the Dominion voting depositions, credibility of news organizations themselves, all forces that undermine the credibility of journalism. What steps can journalists and news orga organizations take to protect the integrity of the free press? I had a feeling I was going to get asked this question. Um, look, it, it, nothing, as somebody who got into the news business to report and to tell the truth and to try to inform and to educate people, uh, nothing could be more contradictory to what it is that my view of, of the media. My, you know, my view has always been, I just want to tell what's going on and try to put some perspective on it. And, you know, the, the, frankly, the question of whether or not you like the news doesn't matter to me. Uh, you know, whether it's, whether you, whether you, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm, I just want to tell you, there used to be a, long before you were all born, a show, a, a detective show called Dragnet, and the detectives would come in and say, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. And that's my, my view of our job, is to just tell the facts. So the idea that you would skew the news to try to tell your audience what they want to hear, or be afraid of telling them the truth because you're worried that that's going to turn them off, is just not a way that that makes sense to me. Obviously, it's a business plan, and obviously it's working, but, uh, you know, there have been very disheartening revelations in the last month or so. Not t totally surprising, but, uh, uh, but shocking nonetheless. And, you know, one just hopes that, I'm not sure I'm particularly confident in this, that people will react to it in a, in a way, ultimately, of rejecting that and saying, you know, whether I like it or not, tell me what's really going on. And, and you know, I left Fox 14 months ago, and that's part of the reason for it, because my, you know, as I say, facts are facts, they're non-negotiable, the truth is the truth, and, you know, just tell that and let the chips fall where they may. 